In this video, we're going to see an example where we've been given sine x is equal to 3 sevenths. So we have that in exact form. Uh, we're told that x is acute, and we need to find the exact values of cosec, sec, and cot. Okay? So whenever you're dealing with this type of situation, my first instinct is always to draw a right angle triangle with the information that you know. So here's my right angle triangle. Here is my angle x. Now I've been told x is acute, but even if the question had said x was obtuse, I'd still be starting off by drawing the same right angle triangle. I'll show you uh, what happens in that situation uh, after I've found these three answers. So given that x is acute, uh, sine x is 3 sevenths. So sine x we know to be the opposite over the hypotenuse. So that means the opposite side is 3 and the hypotenuse is 7. So the remaining side, the adjacent side, can be found using Pythagoras, is the square root of 7 squared take away 3 squared. So that's 49 take away 9, so 40, so root 40. Now, that can be simplified. OK, so uh, root 40, uh, 4 can go into that 10 times, so 2 root 10. OK, so... If I'm then being asked, right, what is cosec? Well, cosec I could have found without having drawn the triangle because sine x is 3 sevenths. Cosec is 1 over sine. And now because it's 1 over sine x, that must mean that it is the reciprocal of 3 sevenths, so 7 thirds. Sec x, we know that's 1 over cosine x. Now, cosine is the adjacent divided by the hypotenuse. So 2 root 10 over 7. So because we've got 1 over cosine x, it's the reciprocal of that. So it's 1 over the adjacent over the hypotenuse, which is 7 over 2 root 10. Now, you could also rationalise the denominator for that if you needed to by multiplying top and bottom by root 10. So we would get uh, 7 root 10 over 20. OK. As for C, cot x, we know that is 1 over tan. Now tan is opposite over adjacent. So opposite is 3, adjacent is root 40. So that's 3 over root 40. So 1 over 3 over root 40. So cot is the reciprocal of 3 over root 40. So root 40 over 3. And of course we had that as 2 root 10, didn't we? So I could rewrite that as 2 root 10 in there. And 2 root 10 there. And have it as 2 root 10 over 3. So they are the exact values uh, given that x is acute. So I said that I would also go through if x were obtuse. Okay. So if x is obtuse, as I said, I would still draw the same right angle triangle. But now what you need to think about is that with uh, us looking at sine, so here's sine, um, here's zero. And that is uh, 180 degrees. OK, so we'll keep it in degrees because we recognize acute, obtuse better when we're in degrees, don't we? Here's the 90 degree mark. So sine x being 3 sevenths, there's 3 sevenths, we can see we've got these solutions. OK, now sine x, as you can see, because they are both above the x axis, regardless of whether x is acute or obtuse, sine x is equal to 3 sevenths. Okay? It is equal to a positive value. Whereas for cosine, so let's get this tracking down. So for cosine, that wasn't very good, was it? Let's try that again. Didn't really look any different. Oh well. Okay. 
So looking like that. Now for cosine, as you trace these values down, you do hit when x is acute, so between the 0 and 90, cosine is positive. It's above the x-axis. So that's why for sec, we get this positive value here. But when it's obtuse, you can see that we hit the curve below the x-axis, and so the value is actually negative. So if x were obtuse, then sec x should actually be minus 1 over 2 at 2 at 10 over 7. So that's negative, that's negative. So minus 7 root 10 over 20 is the actual value. So it changes sign depending on where you are. As for tan, OK, tracing down that first value, which was positive for sine, positive for cosine, will be positive for tan as well. And it makes sense that it's positive for tan because you've got positive divided by a positive. So that's why we've got the 2 root 10 over 3. But for the obtuse value, which was positive for sine, negative for cosine, will be negative for tan. And so cotex would be equal to 2 root 10, uh, negative 2 root 10, sorry, over 3. So be aware that if you are told that x is obtuse, that may well change your answer from if you are solving it for x is acute.